Hi everyone, my name is Mark Moykins, and today we're going to talk about the clip to bounds property on the UI view. This is an interesting property, and I'll show you some of the things that it can do. All right, let's start with our storyboard here, and let's add a UI view. And we'll just give that a color. And by default, clip to bounds is set to false. But what is what is actually what does that actually mean, clip to bounds? Well, first of all, the bounds of this UI view is like the border or boundary. It is the the edge here of or the frame you might say of this UI view. So if I add another view inside of it, let's say let's put it right here. As you can see, this view is inside of this orange view. Let's rename this so you can see which one is which. Orange view. Okay, and let's give this one a color. We'll make it more like this reddish color. Okay, take a look what's happening here. Now, by default, when I put, even though this view is, and you can see right here, this is the red view. This view is inside the orange view, but it, it doesn't look like it. It actually looks like this red view is on top of the orange view. That's because when you put something inside of a UI view, it's going to go outside of the bounds if it has to, if, it, if it's bigger than the bounds of the of its parent. We can change that if we click on the orange view, we can click on clip the bounds. And clipping is basically like cutting or trimming. So it's going to cut off anything that goes outside of its boundary, outside of its bounds here. And that's basically what clip the bounds does, is it cuts off anything outside of it. And if you want to show it again, then you could just uncheck it and you can show everything outside of it. Now there's one other thing that I see other developers get confused with and sometimes you have a view like this orange view and you want to put a drop shadow on it. So let's see what that looks like. I'm going to first, I'm going to uncheck clip to bounds and then in my code, I'm going to create an outlet for that UI view. Okay, let's get rid of some of this stuff that we don't need. And we'll create an outlet here and I'll just call it orange view. Okay, and in my view did load, I'm going to show the shadow. It's on the layer. Yeah, shadow opacity. That's the one you, that you want. Shadow opacity, it's almost like all the views do have a shadow already. It's just the opacity is set to zero. So we're going to set it to one so it can show what it looks like. So let's run that and let's look at that shadow. Okay, good. Now you see that the shadow is, is present outside of that view. And notice one thing too, that shadow goes beyond the bounds. It's on the outside of the bounds. So sometimes what happens is developers, they'll set this property, clip the bounds to true. And then when they run their project again, let's see what happens to that shadow. Look at that, the shadow is gone now. And that's simply because the shadow is rendered outside of the bounds of the UI view. So when clip the bounds is true, it's going to get rid of the shadow too. If you want to put a shadow in there, you know, and maybe constrain it to just like the size of this UI view. Unfortunately, the only way I found to be able to do that is put another view right behind the orange view and turn that shadow on. So it looks like the shadow is coming from the orange view. So there you go, that's what click the bounds is. And again, click the bounds just basically means to trim or cut off anything outside the boundary of a UI view. I hope this helped. Give it a thumbs up if you learned something and consider subscribing as we go through the rest of the properties for the UI view.